Welcome back to UNX Fast Forward, your daily dose of everything Ninja. I'm Chris Ganji. And I'm Ethan Swanson. And right now we're in the second round of the UNX qualifiers to get to the second major event on December 14th. It's going to be live here at UNX Now. Yeah, and we are at Austin Ninjas this Saturday. And we have a stacked group of competitors and an intense course for you guys. Yep, and three spots are going to be available for men and for women to get to that major event. So you know these athletes are looking at, i got to get top three to move on. Yeah, and so we're going to be seeing some returning competitors, we're going to be seeing some new faces, some A&W veterans, and we're going to jump into that later. But for right now, we're jumping into the course preview. And the first obstacle is the agility steps. Feet only, got to make it through a bunch of different steps to the landing pad. Next up, athletes have the spider jump. Make your way across the spider, but don't touch the blue tape, or else that's a DQ to the trampoline. Right, and from the trampoline into the uneven bridges, the first one's straight on, and then the second two are off tilted, make your way to the dismount. Next up, you've got retirement home. Athletes will make their way across the balance tank with two canes to assist them, but they've got to get up and over the bumps on the ground. And this brings us to actually one of the coolest obstacles I think here is the reverse dunk. Athletes are going to have a small cane, a lobster claw is what it's called, and they're going to have to 180. They have to hook onto the back side and then they have to dismount with the cane. Yeah, I think this is going to be a really technical move for a lot of athletes, especially making that 180 catch from the platform. Yeah, and then also, I mean, with this platform that you land on, it's on or past is okay, but if you overshoot, you clear lobster claw, but then you fail the next obstacle. So you got to be really precise taking the cane with you. I think it's going to throw some athletes off. Yeah, definitely a lot to think about having to take that cane with you. And then, like you said, don't overshoot the platform because that's the start of the next obstacle. Right, which is the hook swing. So you're going to take that lobster claw with you and the larger cane and swing through the hook swing. Next up, it's slide or die. Athletes will use a skateboard without any wheels on it to slide down the carpet bonnet foam and jump to the platform. Yeah, call back to AW Season 5 and Mike Salenzi put one in his NNL a little while ago, but that one's going to be a lot of fun. Going right into Newton's Cradle, Trapeze, to Big Tic Tac, to Big Tic Tac, a humongous launch to another load of Trapeze and the dismount. Next up, athletes will make their way through the Salmon Ladder. Got to make your way up and then transfer to the bar. Right, and same letter, you have to get the bar into the top rungs before you can dismount. And then we're gonna go to a combo obstacle to finish the course. It's two obstacles in one. It's the slippery slope into the cliffhanger. Yeah, this is gonna be a really taxing obstacle, especially that slippery slope. I mean, you so much lock off on these. You gotta be so precise to hook those into the, um, into the, the little uh, rings. The there. rings, yeah. yeah. And so these are actually called slip chucks, which means they're glossy. I mean, you can chalk up as much as you want. It's not going to help you very not much. Not going to help. The grip is so tough, and locking off, having to descend is going to be really hard to take out the hook behind you. Uh, and then you, there's no rest. you got to go right into the cliffhanger, which is brutal. Yeah, I mean, that's the element that I really like is having to descend on the slippery slope because, like you said, each one of those moves down is really taxing and then to the cliffhanger. Yeah, and on the cliffhanger alone, it by itself is super hard and you have to connect it, but the cliffhanger, it's not even a flat ledge. They are sloped cliffhanger ledges <laughs> and they get of smaller they as you go. Yeah, which is the, the second to last one you touch, uh, I believe is like a quarter of an inch or something crazy. So Nick Fordney was saying you have to wrap your thumbs underneath to pinch your way still on there. It's, it's gonna be insane. Brutal. Well, the time limit for this course is a little bit forgiving. One of our longer time limits, 4.15. This is the second longest open qualifier course we've seen at 4.15. Yeah, well, we had to. We had to increase time limit <laughs> a little bit from four minutes, and that's because, I mean, there's 11 obstacles, but some of them are really long and time-consuming. It's just going to take athletes a long time to get through this course. Yeah, so we'll see, but let's look at some of the athletes who are competing, and we have 17 American Ninja Warrior veterans who are going to be competing at this competition. Which is n absolutely nuts. What a stacked field of competitors. Yeah, absolutely, and every single time we come to these open qualifiers, it just gets bigger and bigger, but let's look at the men's side of things. Naj Richardson is coming back, yep. second week in a row, didn't qualify last week at Ugh. center court on a just heartbreaking, heartbreaking run, yep. but he's going to come back to try to punch his ticket. Yeah, and you know, we have three of the athletes from on the men's side from the UNX major and Nigel Richardson is one of them another one is Sam Folsom 
who uh, he took eighth place at the first major. You know, he's trying to get his way back to the second major. I love the way Sam attacks the course, was so consistent, taking fourth place in his first open qualifier, mm -hmm. and then taking second in his second open qualifier. Yep, and then we also have Travis Rust, who was at the first major. He's going to be at Austin Ninjas also. And, you know, these three guys, they've already qualified, for, you know, for the first round, so they got to qualify again. They've been there, they've done that, so I think we're going to see great things out of these three. Yeah, but then we've got Jamie Ron, took first place last week. He does not take a qualifying spot, but I do expect a big run from him. There's no nerves. There's no nerves. Yeah. You, you have nothing to lose. Right, exactly. Maybe a little bit of pride, but that's about it. But yeah, but Jamie's <laughs> such a good competitor. And then we've got Tyler Gillette yep. coming over from, you know, from the southeast, making his way to Texas, mm -hmm. um, trying, to, trying to make his way. Yeah, I mean, three athletes here were in stage three last year on American Ninja Warrior. Tyler Gillette, Karsten Williams, and Nate Burkhalter. And those three really strong AW veterans, and they're very experienced. I expect big things out of them. Yeah, a lot of strong AW veterans. Speaking of the big cat, we got the big dog. Jody Avia is going to be competing, yep. and I can't wait to see what he brings. Yeah, I mean, we, the list goes on and on and on. We have Jody, we have Dave Cavanaugh, I mean, we have Thomas Stillings, Matthew Day, David Wright, rookie from last year, <laughs> Brian Burkhardt, Todd Bourgeois. <laughs> I mean, like, the a &W list goes on and on, not to mention the youth athletes we have competing, including Caden Lebsack. Yeah, Caden Lebsack, which we saw last week, he just missed out on a qualifying spot. So strong, mm -hmm. and he's not the only youth athlete that I'm going to be watching out for. There are so many rookies coming up in this competition. I can't wait to see it. But then and let's – sorry, go ahead. No, that's just the men's side of the competition. <laughs> on the women's side of the competition, it is just as stacked. And first one we want to talk about is Olivia Colasano. Missed out qualifying last week at center court, but she's coming off a of fifth place at the first UNX major you know she wants to go back. I definitely expect Olivia to bounce back from last week. You know, she ran kind of the middle of the pack, didn't, wasn't fast enough to punch a ticket to the major, mm -hmm. and I think she's going to take that lesson and put it to use here. Yeah, and we have two other women who are at the first major event. Uh, Nikki Perella is here. She's going to be competing in, and Brittany Durant. So three women who, who in the first round punched their ticket, and they're trying to do that again. Yeah, and then we've got other athletes who didn't make it to the first major. Ashley McConville is going to be competing. Mm -hmm. Somebody we talked about had a very surprising exit in her Ninja Quest qualifier. Brutal. But I'm expecting big things from Ashley. I always do. Her and Caitlin Bergstrom, too. I mean, she also, same thing in Ninja Quest, you know, went a little bit earlier, uh, went out a little bit earlier, and, uh, and, you know, now they're here for another chance to get to another Unix major. But we also have Charity LeBlanc, Jessica Barnard rounding out our a &W veterans. And not only that, you know, youth athletes, Isabella Wakeham, who I'm really excited about because she absolutely crushed it at UNAA Worlds this past year. Yeah, if you follow UNAA, you definitely know who Isabella is. Had an amazing run at finals, and she is coming to compete for this major spot. Yeah, everybody is. I mean, that's just our field of athletes, and, you know, with the course that we have, it's going to be really interesting. There's a lot of new movements on the course. Yeah, absolutely. This course is definitely going to challenge these athletes, I think, not only from a grip and endurance perspective, but like you said, the technique involved for some of these moves is mm -hmm. definitely going to challenge them. And tomorrow we're going to look at our athlete predictions, see who we think is going to take top three men, top three women. We haven't been very correct so far, but we're <laughs> going to keep going. We're going to keep going. We're going to see if I can finally take down Swanson. No, it's not going to happen. Uh, we'll see. Uh, the champion. That's going to be tomorrow on UNX Fast Forward, so make sure you guys tune in. I'm Christy Ganji. I'm Ethan Swanson. We'll see you guys next time on UNX Fast Forward.